Yo, what's good, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. How y'all doing? Hey, kids. I'm Q, the Costa Rican, and today we have another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet ranked. No, not ranked. Whew. I just kept going. I was like, yo, this is not what I was on autopilot right there. We are just Scarlet and Violet Wi Fi battles here in the randomized Scarlet and Violet Wi Fi battle stuff that's going on, man. So, a little bit of fourth wall breaking. I did want to do an NU battle with some of the homies, but uh, they are they're a little busy at the moment. So, uh, we are just going to be taking some of those Enumons, i.e. Jolteon and Scyther, into hopefully what will be an OU battle. <laughs> we don't know, you know what I'm saying? It's it's up to the discretion of uh, whoever we randomly get connected with. But um, with that being said, we do have the homie Cinderace as our main form of hazard control because after I made the team... Well, no, we have Iron Treads, Rapids, but never mind. Core change could be really fun, though. We don't have any hazards of our own, so I was like not really missing out on much with rocking out with Core change as a potential hazard option for like being able to... Uh, the only mod, the only move is outside of tidy up from Yasuhold that could uh, court chain that could uh, get rid of hazards in front of a Goldengo. I, I don't know what I'm. Why am I talking like this? What's wrong with me? But yeah, Cinderace pretty strong. Liberal Powerball, Sucker Punch, U-turn, all that good stuff. Momentum Alizing for some of our threats. There's a, there's a lot of uh, Volt turning, Volt turning on here. I just realized. Uh, Jolteon, Life Orb. It is the epitome of Volt Beam in Generation Nine. Hyper Voice instead of Shadow Ball. Probably will regret that. Who knows? Uh, Hyper Voice is just a little bit stronger than Shadow Ball, so I was like, sure, why not Hyper Voice? Um, and then once again, Volt Switch for Momentumalizing. Other Volt Switch user on the team, Rotom Rwash, which is one of the best Rotoms in the game, uh, with Volt Switch, Hydro Pump, Thunderbolt, and will o -Wisp. Max Fizz Death to be able to tank those physical hits. Probably should have changed it to Spadef, mainly just for this team, because we already have a Max Fizz Death Corviknight on the team, but it's whatever. Uh, up next, we got the homie Choice Banded Scyther with Terra Normal Quick Attack, which could be pretty fun. This and Jolteon are really the only two mons on the team that are like, quote unquote, dedicated Terras. Jolteon more so, so that I could actually have the Bolt Beam threat to be able to utilize, you know, Thunderbolts plus Ice Move against the ground types. Uh, but Sarkthor, you know, still there, Quick Attack. Terra Normal Quick Attack in the end game while being banded could be a potential win con. U-turn from Momentumalizing, Aerial Ace for our stab, and then big old close combat for some extra fighting damage up next we got adamant iron treads so that we get the attack boost with the booster energy dual stab knock off and rapid spin because we can get nice if we can get like a nice little cheeky rapid spin kill and then we get a pay, basically a plus one speed boost and then we're plus one attack well times 1.3 because that's a boost energy does uh could be pretty nice could could definitely end game could mid game break a team who knows you know what i'm saying iron treads pretty strong and then last but not least we have fizz dev corvinite because like i said it was ou kind of just needed some sort of a extra physical wall also like my two main attack or my three main like offensive threats are all weak to ground so i was like let me bring the other half of the team being immune to ground which i thought was pretty you know pretty smart uh so yeah that is the team we are going to be using to try and win a battle in the randomness that is scarlet and violet wi-fi link battles if you guys want to use the team to fight your homies as well uh team id in the right hand corner 3xf g zero four or i think it is zero four not oh four because they only ever introduce introduce they only ever let you use zero or O, because they look too similar they would they would think you get confused if you guys didn't know now you know you learn something new every day that is the team we are going to be using i hope you all enjoy the battle slash potentially battles i don't know how long it's going to go i'm not a doctor all right here we are with the battle we were going to be using an nu team i think like we said in the intro but uh, we kept at least two of the guys on here that we're gonna be th these homies which actually look pretty solid do i have shadow ball or do i have hyper voice Ooh, i kept hyper voice should have been shadow ball uh probably not gonna matter because i'm pretty sure Dra dragapult raw knocks us out but but there's a but if they lead frostlass we can cry together but rotom looks really solid as a lead uh i don't like them being able to get up while wow, they have Wait, this is Mono Ghost, I just realized. I was like, wow, they have one, two, three, four, five, six Ghost. That, okay, so we're not going to be able to spin on anything. Um, but Iron Treads Endgame does look pretty strong. So I definitely could see them wanting to just lead off with uh, Frostlass and get up a Spike. Uh, at least one, two, three. At least four of our Pokemon are immune to it uh, because of Hazards, uh, because of a boot uh, Cinderace and that everybody else is floating. Um, but yeah, let's go. Let's lead Rotom. Rotom looks like a solid lead. Uh, will, I will definitely want to keep the HP on Rotom, uh, as much as I can for being able to switch into the Skelly Dirge. But if they lead Pult, I'm probably just going to have to Volt Switch. I don't think I really have a good Pult Switch in. So yeah, we'll see how it goes. Good luck, have fun. 
uh, to whoever we're battling. I forgot what their name was. Yeti, which is Frostlass. So, pretty, uh, you know, pretty likely of a thing to see. Uh, yeah, we're just going to Volt Switch into Cinderace and then go from there. Yep, they just get a spike. Like I said, four out of our six Pokemon are immune to it. So, it's like kind of irrelevant in theory. We're just going to go into Cinderace to prevent them from getting up another one. Do I have a better way of doing that? No, it's my fastest thing. I mean, I, I'm sure Jolteon does. Act Wait, Jolteon does for sure kill this with Volt Switch, right? Frostlass. Yeah, like for sure. But then I take, I take Chip that I don't need. I'm just going to go Cinderace. This kind of allows in Skelly Dirge, but maybe they just sack this off in an attempt to get up another... Uh, what's it called? And I could also Court Change. So yeah, let's just Power Ball. Yeah, nice. Okay, so they stay in. Perfect. They give this to us. So yeah, I might Court Change on the Skelly Dirge. Because they should Shadow Ball, in theory. I might just Court Change. Like I said, it only affects two of my guys, but... It would be pretty solid to have on their side. Because they have no hazard control whatsoever in terms of getting rid of it. So let's see what they want to do here. They could definitely go Dragapult. Um, Croco. -co. Okay, they go this. Perfect. Yeah, I'm. they might... I feel like they would Shadow Ball if anything. I'm just going to Court Change, man. Court Change and then U-Turn. Take your spike back, brother. Not too bad. Hex. Perfect. Couldn't have asked for a better play. Let's go. All right. Sick. Uh, so, yeah. Now we U-turn on them. We'll be able to scout to see if they were either lefties or Rocky Helmet. Uh, or uh, that might be Boots. They do withdraw. So, we're getting momentum. Momentum. Pika Mickey. Oh, is that is that Mimikyu? Yo, easy. Break the disguise. Yo, this is going perfect. <laughs> this is going, some might say, too good too well uh i do need to find out if adamant treads i feel like adamant treads outpaces this if it's jolly because i am adamant treads in case you guys were wondering hi my name is adamant treads mimi kins uh i do outpace it all right sick um i mean i could just go for it but i feel like it's too early there's no way i'm ever getting up a rapid spin uh, but what else would knock this guy out? I don't really want to, like, waste anyone else's HP. I'll just go for the Adam and Treads, man. Whatever. Iron Head is free here. If they go out in a Skelly Dirge, I have Earthquake. I might even be able to just Earthquake here. Yeah, Earthquake in here just is also fine. Yeah, I'm just going to Earthquake. See what they turn into. They might go ghost. If they go ghost, that's fine too. Yeah, the only thing that I didn't want to see them go was like was like uh uh flying. Everything else was fine. Oh, I guess grass too. What is what is up? They're faster. Oh, I was calking Jolly. I mean, I was calking Adam and not Jolly. Whatever. We we still kill them. What the hell? I could have spun on this. I literally I literally took the time to calc this, and I was like. Oh yeah, Adam and Treads outpaces Mimikyu, but I had Mimikyu at Adam and too. I didn't. I didn't click the Jolly. Whatever, we got away with it. It's okay. Uh, we are still faster than Goldango and Skelly Dirge. I think I will. If they go any anything else that's not those two, I probably will save this for those two, for at least one of them, because Goldango can definitely be Scarf Ever Levine. <laughs> I was about to say, what the hell? Uh, actually, low key speed boost. Tusk would have actually 6 0 here. <laughs> um, so we're going to sack something off. I will. I think Corviknight is Spadef. Nah, it's defensive. I mean, that is the sack, though. It kind of has to be. Uh, we can go Corviknight and, like, see if they're Life Orb or what. They probably just Mystical Fire, anyways. Maybe they, maybe they use Shadow Ball. I don't know. We're going to see what they are. They do mystical fire. Okay. That did... Wow, that didn't even do half. Wait, that did exactly half. 102. Wait, so I should live another one. I mean, if that's their play... 
I'm gonna go Rotom. I kind of need Rotom. I forgot. Yeah, I kind of remember. I needed Rotom. <laughs> That's okay. They do zero damage. We get a lot of HP back. Not a lot of HP. We get a little bit of HP back with lefties. Then we Volt Switch into Cinderace and click a button. Also, did they take Spike damage? They did. Okay. Uh, Yeah, we Volt Switch. They're definitely not Specs. They might be Scarf. They might be Scarf. I don't see why you wouldn't just hit me there. That's weird. Okay, yeah, they might be Scarf. Croco Coco. On the water type, by the way, in case anyone was wondering. That's kind of crazy behavior. Uh, we just go Treads here and click our EQ. Even if they want to, like, willow with me, I still think EQ is the best play. Also, that ignored the uh, that ignored our Spatak drop, which is kind of funny. Um, yeah, we definitely go this in EQ. Could even knock off if I'm feeling frisky. I think actually they're boots. But EQ just nets a, nets a KO. So knocking off would kind of be weird. I actually am. I'm going to calc this. Non-boosted against uh, Skelly. I assume they're Fizz Def. But if, yeah, if they are Fizz Def, this kind of doesn't kill. Um, but if, if they choose to burn me instead of killing me, then we knock them out the next turn. Okay, perfect. This is fine, too. I just needed Iron Treads to be able to knock out either this or Goldango, and it, got, it put this in range of everything. So I'm fine with this. I'm actually going to go Rotom and Volt Switch again. I am going to go Rotom and Volt Switch again. Eviolite Scyther actually looked like it could be pretty solid here. Um, wish I would have brought that instead. But yeah, we Volt Switch. Boom. Rotom is so good. I love it. Such a good Pokemon, man. I don't know why Rotom Wash is the best one competitively. I guess it's the water typing. But it's just so solid. Uh, we are going to... I kind of want to drop in Corviknight. Just to get some lefties recovery. I think we get lefties recovery here, right? Yep, perfect. That was mainly the reason why. Uh, this also like doesn't really allow in Goldengo. I mean, it does, I guess, if it's sub Goldengo. Could be Trick as well, which would be kind of unfortunate. Uh, and this, and if it's Physical Pult, this also doesn't stop that, or it doesn't uh, allow that to do anything crazy. But it does look like it's Pult, and we're gonna find out if it's special or physical. I will, uh, I will just U-turn here. You have no problems with U-turning. Thunderbolt. Oh, this is special. All right. Well, now Jolteon gets a KO. Hopefully. Uh. Yeah, I'm going to do it. Terra Jolteon. Screw it. They can't stay in. So I kind of don't want to Terra Ice. They have to go Goldango. I'm just going to Volt Switch. I'm just going to Volt Switch, man. I don't know what to tell you. But yeah, that's I, I don't know if it's specs or not, but it's definitely like something similar. It's definitely special, is the thing we learned. It probably is specs to kill uh, Corviknight from half. From a little bit over half. Yeah, and then... I'm curious if... I uh, Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. I'm curious if Scyther lives a hit. Uh, from Fluttermane. Non-specs, because they're definitely not specs. There's no shot. You know what I mean? I just refuse to believe. Scyther. From non-specs. We're assuming your scarf. I do. I do live a hit. So let's go for it. Let's get a, let's let's kill the Fluttermane with Scyther. Why not? Does you turn do the job? 23%? No. Eh, they're probably all at 23 exactly, but nah. Let's just aerial ace. Mystical Fire should not knock me out. Let's go. Calculated. Eviolite would have been crazy here, man. But Choice Band is fun, too. Um, Whoever they choose to go out into, I'll just stay in and click a button. Not really going to think too much about it. Even if it's Goldango, I'm sure I do you know, enough to, to get some chip, you know? Get some chip for Cinderace. Because Cinderace is our endgame here. We're assuming that the Poultice Specs 
Uh, JJ Goldman. It's got to be like a bank, a, a bank franchise or something. I'm pretty sure. I'm not entirely sure. But yeah, let's just aerial ace. We should be faster unless they're scarfed. They are scarfed. All right. Um. So they're scarfed. They're scarfed. Goldengo to Jolteon. Shadow Ball is a 2 a KO. Uh, so I could get my chip. And then once they're low, I think that would entice them to stay in. And then Sucker Punch Cinderace just wins. I think that's what I got to go for. Yep. So they stayed in. Big two a KO. Oh, and we get the cheeky parrot. You love to see it. Alright, well now Jolteon. Jolteon's got it. Uh and then we just volt switch into Cinderace and win the game. Wow. Shout out to Jolteon. Getting that para. You know what I said in my head, I was like, we could get a para. I just didn't say it out loud because I was all like. I don't really care to get the paralyzed. Like we can, you know, Goldengo can still get paralyzed through secondary effects, but I don't think whatever. That was fun. Uh, I do think they're choice lock, so I am just gonna sucker punch. I'm not gonna think too much about it. Uh, if they somehow end up being like sub DD Thunderbolt Dragon Darts, then you got me good, buddy. But I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna sucker punch. And it was shiny pull too. You love to see it. I thought it failed. Now we win. Yeah, let's go. Easy dubs. Yeah, you love to see it, man. Life Orb Jolteon, kind of nice. Got the para. Rotom is so good. The electric types just really put in work here. I might end it there. I might end it there. I was going to say I'll get another one, but I already did a battle before this that where I tried out the NU team, but just kept running into, you know, full on OU team. So it's like, you know what I mean? You can't. What are you going to do? All right, and here we are with the second battle. Y'all thought the video was over. It's just begun. All right, so. Um, we do see some Pokemon. Jolteon could potentially get the Bolt Beam off on the Garchomp, which would be really solid. I'm actually going to lead off with it to try and bait it out. I will Volt Switch on anything else that wants to, you know what I mean? Um, anything else that wants to, like if they want to lead Torko, I'll Volt Switch into Rotom. If they want to lead, uh, Annihilate Volt Switching into something would be kind of problematic because, you know, I'm a little scared. Should have actually put Rocky Helmet on Corviknight now that I'm thinking about it. Just so we had different items on everybody. But lefties are still really nice. Let's go for it. Let's see how it goes. <clears throat> Volt Switch just looks really strong. The only thing I'm fearing is like lead eruption scarf Typhlosion. That would kind of put a damper on things. Uh, but we'll see. It is somewhat of a sun team. I just, <clears throat> I just realized I am dying over here. But yeah, lead scarf eruption could be very problematic. They do lead Torkoal. Okay, perfect. <clears throat> I'm dying here. So yeah, we can just get a Volt Switch off. Uh, potentially in a Rotom and then Volt Switch again. So let's go for it. Oh my god, Thunderbolt might have killed. Low key? Thunderbolt might have killed. Uh, but yeah, they could definitely Earthquake here. But they probably just get a Rocks, if I had to guess. We do have a Court Changer. Which looks really solid here. They Wisp. I'll take that, I guess. I don't know. Because it looks like we're going to be able to prevent... Uh, we're going to be able to prevent uh, hazards. Which is really nice. And potentially get rid of their, their guy. Volt Switch again, baby. They could go Garchomp now, I suppose. But, I mean, I am a Rotom. So, like, I do have the Wisp potential. So, unless they're Terrifier or Substitute. You know what I mean? They do Withdraw. Who are we going out into? Annihilate? Fluttermane. I'll take that. Free chip. I'm actually... I kind of just want to go Cinderace and Pyro Ball. I just don't want to give Type <gasps> Typhlosion any boosts. Look at that damage. Um, I think I do have to go Cinderace. I think I do, yeah. Cinderace. Because they could very easily go out on a Typhlosion. But would they make that play? I don't know. I don't know what kind of person they are. You know what I mean? 
But also, I don't think we saw a protosynthesis boost from Fluttermane. Hello? I don't think we saw one. Or unless I'm, I didn't see one. I did not see one. I'm gonna Pyroball. Are they gonna Terra Fire? Are you really? Brother? Terra Fairy. Okay, I'll take that. I mean, yeah, I'll take that. Maybe they thought I would sucker. I'm clicking Pyroball in the sun, baby. There's nothing for me else to think about, you know what I'm saying? Nothing for... Calm... Cinderace, please land. Please land, brother. You only have one job, and that's to land this Pyroball in the sun. Please, brother. I beg of you. Let's go. You're goaded with the sauce. Get out of here, Fluttermane. What were you thinking? Calm mining in my face? Hello? I'm a Cinderace in the sun, brother. Like, what? That's some crazy behavior. Uh, regardless of what they go out into, I just... PokeEnvy.com, okay? Okay. This is not a genuine Charizard. <laughs> uh, kind of want a Powerball again, low-key. But this looks really solid. It's my only fire resist. So I could, I could just, in theory... Damn, I kind of need Rotom for Typhlosion, too. Otherwise, if it's Scarf, it kind of just bops. You know who's very, very useless here? Corviknight. It's only good for, like potentially Garchomp or Annihilate, but I think I'll have different ways of beating them. So yeah, we're just going to go into, uh, they're not Scarf, which is really cool. They could be Dragon Dance or Belladrum, which would be crazy. Um, but I'm just going to sack off Corv. I don't know what the hell they were thinking. I kind of want to Calc. Should I have just Pyroballed? Because if they Belladrum, it's over. Earthquake. Perfect. kind of curious how much Powerball in the sun would have done over half. That's actually pretty crazy. Uh, but yeah, they definitely kill me here. They're not solar power. I don't think I saw chip. Uh, I'm just going to U-turn again. Fire blast. Okay, they do land and probably die here. Yep, okay. That's fine. We're going to see if they're... Well, actually, no, because the sun is going to go out. Oh, okay, they are solar power. I just wasn't paying attention. All right, well, like I said, um, the sun did not go out, by the way. Uh, we can go out to Yimmy and click the old Volt Switch. Might even click Thunderbolt in case Volt Switch does it. No, Volt Switch finishes it off. It's fine. They could Terra Ground for sure, but they already Terra, so never mind. They already wasted their Terra. We just get the Volt Switch and get another KO with Volt Switch Jolteon. You'll love to see it. And then we will save this for Ice, ice Move on the homie. Um, I kind of want to... I really don't want the Typhlosion to come out. I think I'm going to bring out Iron Treads, maybe? No, I think I should bring out Rotom. This will stop most things from coming out here. The only thing is, like, maybe Taunt and Iolate could be problematic. But I feel like it's Scarfed. Just based on how they've been playing everybody else. I feel like it's Scarfed. Which would be really nice if we can get a burn on it. But I don't, so, and I also I don't think they would go out into it here if it is Scarf. And if they do, they they U turn for sure. They do go Annihilate. Okay, I mean, if it's Scarf, they U turn for sure. They could taunt me. I'm just gonna Willow. They Screech and they miss. What is this raid set Annihilate, brother? And we miss too. Okay, bunch of missers. Bunch of missers. I mean, I'm cool with going for it again. I've, I've showed my hand, and maybe they could taunt now, but the fact that they're Screech, I don't know what to think anymore. This is literally a raid set Annihilate. Like, what is going on? Come on, land this, this one, Rotom, please. Thank you. Thank you so much. Don't be lum. Just be burnt. What is this raid set Annihilate, bro? Sunlight faded. Perfect. So, I would Volt Switch normally, but I'm minus two defense. Even though they are burned, I still don't want to take that damage. Like I said, Rotom is very important to not lose to Typhlosion. Uh, outside of the sun, of course, because they could have Solar Beam. But I am going to keep it around. Because it's good for Garchomp, too. It's good for everything that's still around. So I just want to... I want to keep it. I want to keep it. Uh, most expendable member. Uh, Rage Fist shouldn't do much to Scizor. And Drain Punch, we quad resist. So, yeah, let's go out into it. They, def they definitely could have Rock Slide. Don't think they would click that, though. I think they click a fighting move, if anything. Maybe even U-turn. Rage Fist. Perfect. That's going to do zero. Zero, baby. 
And now we just get off a banded aerial ace. I'd be shocked if it didn't kill. Banded technician stab aerial ace. Banded technician stab. Let's go. Bandit says we're getting a KO. You love to see it. So yeah, whatever comes out here, I think I just I just I just aerial ace them. Uh regardless of what it is. Typhlosion, Garchomp even. Yeah, I just aerial ace them. Uh, cause we will be we will be terror icing this. Um, do I aerial ace them? I think I do. I think I do. I think I do. Big damage. Big old damage. Probably don't even have to Terra with what's his face. Could probably get away with just clicking uh and they flamethrower, they're special. I wanna f oh my god, they didn't kill? Hello? What is this? Damn it, I wanted to I wanted to what's it called this? Fine, whatever, I guess I can't. I really wanted to uh to Jolteon this, but I mean Jolteon's done enough already. And they're not rough skin either, right? I don't think we saw... Oh, they were. Okay, I'm just silly. Man, I'm, sh I'm, s I'm upset they didn't knock me out. I really wanted to Jolteon that. Okay, anyways, I was going to calc to see if Jolteon Oko's Typhlosion. I don't think I do. With Thunderbolt? Yeah, no, I don't. But I can Volt Switch here for free. And that puts it in range of another Thunderbolt. Another Volt Switch, even. Uh. Hmm. Gonna Volt Switch here. And then I think I go Rotom and Volt Switch again. Maybe, potentially. Iron Treads is a bit of a useless piece. They could have Solar Beam. I feel like I'd still live. But Eruption is also a thing that they could do. But I am max HP. Let's see. Tim, let's give it Timid. Let's give it the benefit of the doubt. Let's also give it Specs. Let's give it Specs. Uh, so, in the sun, to Rotom Wash. Solar Beam kills, Eruption does not. Um, do I outpace? I don't think Adam and Tread, Adam and Treads definitely doesn't outpace. I think I'm going to sack off Iron Treads here. And then see what happens. We definitely could lose to this. If it's like Scarf Eruption. But no, if it's not, then Rotom, Rotom should be fine with it. Let's see what happens. They do Shadow Ball. Okay, that... Did not predict that. And that did zero. Brother. Are we just gonna kill you? Are you just Specs? Or Scarf? I don't know what they were. They're not... Fa they're modest. And they died. Alright, well... Weird, weird battle. Weird second battle. We're going to include it, I guess, because Jolteon still popped off with its Volt Switch and stuff. I love Volt Turn teams. They're so fun to use. Especially when, like, they just your opponent just keeps switching. It's really nice. So, already did an outro at the, at the end of the last battle. But, with that being said, I'm going to get a bad here. If you all like what you saw and you saw what you like, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you're new. Let me know in the comment section down below if you end up using the team. What's your favorite Volt Turn core? Because Rotom Wash X, anyone who has U-Turn is pretty solid. Vol Rotom Wash, Dragapult, Cinderace. Pretty strong Volturn core. Uh, and Jolteon, you can even add to the mix there, which is really nice. We're going to get about here. I'll see you all in the next one. More battles soon to come. Inteleon, yada, 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 yada. Boom. Peace. Boom, peace. What the... <laughs>